Good morning to the African Allure subscribers. This is Ryan Clark. If this is your first time joining us, welcome to the channel. I hope you do like and subscribe to the channel as I hope to bring you some informative stuff. So I need to do a new arrow build. Um, so I'm visiting my local pro shop, which is Tabazimbi Burg and Hengel. Um, as I don't have many of the tools that I require to do what I need to do. I have some of them, but I don't have all of them. So join me. Obviously, we've got to adhere to the national rules of social distancing and wearing of masks, but it's very difficult on a video to do such. So uh, I'm just going to keep my distance away from the technicians here and uh, hopefully just run you through the process of an arrow build. I'm just building one arrow. Um, I like to have three hunting arrows that I use on a regular basis. This is a 760 grain build and um, I'm just going to run you through the process that I run through. So what I'm doing at the shop this morning is uh, I'm going to get a shaft. Unfortunately, I need to shoot a 200 spine, but I just can't get at the moment. So I'm going to be shooting a 250 spine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through the process of actually cutting down the arrow to my length and then uh, just selecting the inserts. Then what I'm going to do when I get home is I'll show you how to do the insert tuning. Um, then we'll go through the process of the knock tuning and then we'll add the fletchers and so on and so forth. So just uh, stay tuned and uh, I hope you enjoy this one. Thank you for joining us. And welcome to Guru Hanengal. Morning, Chris. Morning, Guru Hanengal. How are you? Good in you. Very okay, well. let's just do the hand sanitizing thing. This is Chris. He's the owner of uh, of Tarba Burg and Hengel. And uh, he has a really fantastic store here. You can see they don't only do bow stuff, but they do fishing stuff. And they do rifles and ammo. So let's just do a quick walkthrough here. They've got knives and stuff at the back over there. But the most important stuff is over here, of course. Check the stock that he's got. Wow. This is awesome stuff, huh? Lots of goodies. All the bows here up on the racks. Morning, Quentin. Morning, Ryan. How are you doing? Good, and you? Good this is Quentin. He's the tech here at Tarba Brug and Engel. And uh, he's going to help you with an arrow build. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this very dirty arrow. Quentin's going to measure it up for me. I'm looking for two arrows today. 250 spine and, um, and a 150 spine. So he's measuring them up to cut them for me. What's the length there? 32 inches. 32 inch spine. Uh, Arrow. Arrow. So we're going to come over here to the. Oops, sorry. Looking for uh, one fifty and two fifty. Yeah, look at the supplied arrows. Yeah, two fifty and a one fifty. All right, great. Will you cut those up for me? Um. I'm okay, so we've got the arrow now. This one is obviously a little bit bloodied from the last pass through. So what Quinton's going to do now for me is he's just going to cut the fletches off. I can't remember the arrow weight or the uh, insert weight here at the front. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to cut the fletches off and uh, then we're going to weigh the arrow and we're going to weigh the 250 shaft and then we'll have an idea of more or less what inserts to put in the other one. This one's got the HRT inserts which is the hidden insert and uh, the new ones we're going to put an outsert on. Thank you. 
Never take clean broadheads to your bow shop. They must always clean it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing will be to get the scale out and to actually just weigh the arrow. Obviously, it's as close to the other one as possible. The 150 spine, I'm going to build it the same weight. Um, 492. 492 is the bear shaft weight with the insert. The other arrows have now been cut. 390. So it needs 100 grains. 100 grains mm. to that. Okay, so the weight that we've got on the original shaft was 492. Mm -hmm. And uh, these shafts, how much are they now? They're 390. So the, the empty shafts are 390. So basically we need 100 grain inserts. So um, we're going to just take out the, uh, we're going to build up now 100 grain outserts. Remember I have an exceptionally long draw length. I have a 32 inch draw length. Um, so what are those inserts where they? They are, they are 50. 50. 50. So we need another 50. Yeah, remember we need two. We need one for the 150 arrow as well. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll measure it up now. So, okay, we're doing the 250 spine first. So now we need to build up 100 grains of inserts. So the outsert is 50 grains. And uh, we're now at 100 grains. So, if we have a look here, these are quite clever little things, and uh, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do the insert tuning at home, but you've got your 50 grain insert, outsert there, remember it's on the outside of the arrow, where is that new arrow, and uh, I will glue these at home, so we've got the outsert there, you see this is quite cool. What's nice about using an outsert is normally the outsert's a little bit thicker diameter than the shaft, which according to Ed Ashby is, uh, helps with penetration if your, your insert or your outsert is a little bit wider than your shaft. And to that we're gonna screw the board head. Okay, so that's that arrow pretty much done. Um, and I will show you the insert tuning when, when, when I get home a little bit later. We're gonna do the same for the 150, same, same arrow weight there. But remember that a 150 grain, uh, a 150 spine arrow should be a little bit heavier than than the other than a 250. So we might have to put a little bit less weight. So it's 520. Okay, so we're going to put white, I've decided to put all white fletches on here, so we've got three, three arrows to do, so we're going to put six fletches. I'm going to fletch them at home, like I do with the, all the other stuff. But have a look at the selection of fletches here, it, it's awesome. Check here, he has a, a shop that stop, stocks proper, proper broadheads. Look at how proper these things are, and you've even got the new VPAs here. Awesome stuff. Lighted knocks, the whole tutti. Then what is very cool as well, if we come through the all the butts, broadhead butts, also important important pieces of equipment, broadhead butts. Bow press. And then they can also make strings up for you. Here, they've got a string making tool here as well. Then, they've got all the fletching tools here as well. Great little workshop. And what is really nice about this particular shop is they've got a little indoor shooting lane here as well, just to test your equipment before you go home. And uh, they've also got a place here to check your timing on your bow and also to check your draw weight.